we are going to need all the tools we have and possibly an instruction manual because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be focused on the brand new bike that we just picked up, which is the Coleman CT200. This is the brand new mini bike that we just picked up in the last video while we were out trying to find the cheapest mini bike that we could find in our local area. And this is what we ended up with. We ended up with a Coleman 200 from Tractor Supply Co. Now don't get me wrong, the bike doesn't look bad at all. Like, I mean, the bike actually looks pretty decent. The only problem that we're having with this bike is the speed the speed of the bike is just way too slow for us today is the day that we need to change that we need to make a change and i've been looking it up on the internet left and right trying to find different things we can do this thing to make it go just that much faster and i think we found a solution now i've had friends in the past that had these bikes and they've made them absolutely insane like they've made these mini bikes into like full-blown drag mini bikes like today we are on one mission and one mission only once we tear this thing down we have to put everything back into its original place because if you know me same thing that happened to my ktm i was working on it didn't do something right and things came loose while riding and that's the last thing and that's the last thing we need to happen to this if we're gonna do this we need to do it right first things first before we jump right into you know the swing of things trying to break everything down we need to see the real speed of this thing straight out the box no modifications at all have been made we need to do this so we can compare it to the speed later gucci baby One second. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Checking the results for the first speed run, we hit a top speed of 21 miles an hour. No way. 21, dude, like, that, <laughs> that did not feel like freaking 21 <laughs> miles an hour. That felt like five. <laughs> we had to remove this cover. I showed you guys this whole mess. So we have to remove all of this, drain the oil, remove this case. The governor should be right here in this area once we remove the case. So we're just gonna pull all this off. I have to, I have this little cotter pin here. We gotta straighten this out and pull it through the top, get this nut off, pull this off, pull all this off. And hopefully we can get it done before the sun goes down. <laughs> kind of glad we're doing this we go to pull everything off we pulled off the clutch we pulled off the chain the sprocket and everything else uh the brackets that were attached and before we put off the side casing we had to drain the oil we didn't want to make a mess everywhere look at all this oil that was in here probably you can barely tell that little corner piece this little corner is legit all the oil that was in this bike <laughs> Hey, shut up. We drained as much oil as we can. There was literally no more oil left in there to be drained. So now we can take off this casing. Hopefully there's no seals or gaskets or anything that we're breaking. So we won't have to replace any. Make sure that shaft stays right down in there. We just want the case itself. No, get back down there. All right, we don't want to rip that. So let's see if we can go ahead and pull it up. Or maybe just pull this and off. This right here is what we're after. I don't know how well you can see it, but that little white ring back there in this top corner, that's what we want. That's what we want out of here. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby, come on. Get your ass out of here. Bro. Let's go, man. 
<laughs> when you said mine, you sound like that Jamaican dude. <laughs> Bruh, get out of here, man. Oh, you don't have Y'all, we've been working on this for like the past hour and a half. I don't know why they put this like... Bro. So freaking close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got it bent where I can hopefully just take it off. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Behold. Ha ha. This is what we were after, baby. Now that we have this little piece out, we're going to flap it back down so it sits on that little that little stud in there. Um, and then we're just going to tighten everything back up. And then we should be Gucci. Got to get the rest of that oil out and refill it with oil. Legitimately, four hours later, I have no clue. It shouldn't. Well, actually, it took that long because of that one stupid little clip. But we got everything back assembled, uh, put back together. Now we just got to put this little cover back on and we should be Gucci. Uh, Tyler, I think you put too much oil in it. Me? Yes, you. Damn, Tyler, what you doing, son? But I just, um, I mean, my bad. Tyler just filled this thing up with too much oil. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> oh, we got, oh! We losing oil. We losing oil. We finna, uh, we finna still run it. I mean, it, it's better than what was in it. Damn near nothing. Y'all know what happens when we run too much oil in bikes? Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Looks like you go a tad bit faster. Some ain't right. <laughs> Cause it's it's now smoking. We gotta <laughs> we gotta adjust the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta adjust some things, bro. If you guys need any, <laughs> if you guys whoa, if you guys need any motor work done, hit me up. I'm telling you, I got you. You smell that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we adjusted the throttle cable. We gave it a little bit more slack in it. Um, hopefully that'll prevent it from having like a mind of its own. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely took something out the motor that it needed. <laughs> Bro, I was just watching YouTube videos talk. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you put the race gas in here, bro? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Shit, you just better be ready by the time you hop on this big 450. <laughs> it's gonna take off on you. <laughs> we need to get a top speed, bro. <laughs> but I don't think we could do it out here, bro. Too many. Ow! Dude, this is a bad place for damage. No, I could take the damn throttle off and it'll still just take off. <laughs> Let me go ahead and address this right now. <laughs> I am not a mechanic. <laughs> so if you guys politely would let me know, politely, you ain't gotta go in on me, but politely let me know. If I did something wrong, let me know. <laughs> could be the issue here. It could be that uh, the plastic piece you got to put back in. Nah, we don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that. First of all, did I take out the right piece? <laughs> because I was talking to you guys like I was, I knew what I was talking about, but in reality, I was watching a YouTube video on what to do, and they may have told me the wrong thing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Run number three, I believe. Uh, we completely disconnected the cable, so we're not gonna have any throttle here. It's just, if it takes off, it takes off. It's the motor doing it. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we wanted speed. We got what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll see y'all later. White gold, keep the lace gold chain, keep the beast inside and the hose insane. Rockin' mirror jeans and a Lambo truck with two powder bags and a ball made phrase. Five in the game plus one that's it, cause you know why V gotta get that.